Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So I'm in love. Let's go back here. So it's like a French defense. Play for like c5 and knight c6. <clears throat> Just with g4, it might be a bit unpleasant. There's also h5 immediately here. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I not just use, I don't know, h4 as well? It's tempting. h3. Can I just use the f5 square? h3. Maybe I should have considered h3 just then. Ah, uh, no, it's stopped both h3 and knight f5, discouraging it. Oh, okay. I can get a knight to g6 or a knight to e6 later, depending on which one I take. g6 is interesting. C4 here. I've got knight a5 to b3. <clears throat> okay. Just want to create some structural damage. Um. So bishop d7, and then, and then what? A king over here. I'm trying to use the c4 square. What says bishop a6 actually? That's a more logical use of b6, bishop a6. Yeah, I've got my king here, bishop e7, rook c8, it looks quite cosy. Also, the knight can go to g6, but it's not really doing anything on g6. Um, he's got a tactical idea, knight c5, it doesn't work here. Let's so play that. Maybe just, if I just double. Hmm, I don't want to open up that. Uh, go back here. There was bishop b5 to consider, I suppose a4, or bishop c4. There, there were some interesting alternatives there. Maybe that was too quick. I think that was too quick to play bishop b7. Come on, think about it. If I double the rooks, then take. It still seems pleasant enough. At this pawn, I'm not sure that's a, is that a liability later with bishop f2. h3 for rook h4 for g4. That's interesting as well. H four here. He's not really geared up for that. It's away from the dark square bishop. It gives me rook h four to g four. Needs to parry that surely. Rook h four to g four. That could be useful. He does parry that. I can hit c3 here. Knight a5. Seems to, you know, be working a little bit if that was protected. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to protect it now. So knight a5. There's always going to be a bishop a6 check now as well with king that takes. Knight moves, bishop a6, then taking on c3. One's being on c3. Right, so bishop a6 here as well. Nice pin. <clears throat> mm. Nice. He's crumbled. 
on d3 I'm on a3 taking on a3 is a lot of fun surely um, Can I take this is bishop takes and bishop b4 after? Or I could leave the pin, I could be a torturer. Actually, I think I'll leave the pin. I want to play rook b3. Something like bishop c1 after. Ruby three bishop c one, oh, nice. Bishops and the rooks are having a party. Yeah, he's resigned. Yeah. Okay, it went downhill for him. Uh, so it, I can improve French. I thought the engine gives the bike for white. I wonder. Yeah, h three just h three immediately. That looks nice. Yeah, Bishop H3. Ruin the fun for a moment. Taking with. Doesn't even give taking. Just take on C. G takes. Okay. Right, D takes to be considered. Yeah, maybe in this particular position. <clears throat> so that looks a little bit better after this seems yeah these light squares are a bit in pain in agony no light square bishop is classic French defense or pawns on dark squares means the light squares are more sensitive than usual Kings okay in the center but you know I've kept the bishop yeah well it's all okay I think it's all good Knight have a good move actually I played a good move here, funny enough. Especially with the king there, he's giving me this bishop a6 resource even more powerfully here. Getting out of the way, threatening rook c3, bishop d3. Winning two pawns. That's good enough. Yeah, that's stronger than just cashing out I just to intensify the pressure. Much better. What's he doing here to get out of the pin? It's bishop c1, yeah. Yeah. Bishop C1 would be useful. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.